Hey guys, welcome to Strong with Raj, no nonsense strength training. So this is my press workout right after I had done my squats, 150 kg 3 by sets and I'm really, really happy with my press workout. Um, in last two press workout videos, I had uh, shared with you that how I was being um, not practicing patience and was going for heavy 90 kg presses and how I was failing miserably again and again and how the next video is about that I was being wise to go for lighter weight and that has really worked for me. So in this uh, video you have me doing 70 kg press. First set, set of 7, then one more set of 7 and then a set of 5 and 60 kg 2 sets and so forth. It's a decent weight and I'm happy with that volume. That is the kind of balance I've been wanting to strike. At the same time, the balance, sorry, I should talk about is to do heavy weights and also being able to do seven or eight reps at a decent weight, such as 70 kg, 75 kg. What I have come to uh, realize to practice is to do more of this medium or lightweight presses more often and then give myself four to five weeks to try the heavy weight which will be 90 kgs so i'm quite happy with how i'm moving in my press right here the knees are nice and tight they're not bending that's my main thing the bar is coming all the way down to the chest upper upper chest and uh, this is a slight push of the hips but i'm happy with that uh, no pain on my left uh, arm, nor there is any slowness. I'm trying, I've been, I'm using a grip where my left arm is more wider than the right arm. And I do the same thing in bench press and it works like a charm. Absolutely. Uh, my girlfriend, Dr. Inga, suggested me that. She watched a video online of this power lifter that I also follow from on Instagram called Jen Thompson. And it was pretty good. I just <laughs> can't believe how simple it is and how it has fixed my issues. This is my second set. I must have been uh, in a very good <laughs> mood and mental state and, and physical state that day. Some sessions are so memorable that you have to think that uh, things like sleep and everything else must have been very, very optimal. So I was just punching through these uh, reps. 70 kg set of seven second set really happy so yes um, what i'm uh, working uh, i'm always building on to something working on something or preparing for something and that has been to have two lifts in a session first let's say start with a squat go heavy or light whatever that is in the program and then just do the second lift which will be more than likely press overhead press it is possible that one day i'll do squats and mix it up with the bench i was doing one lift a session for a long time but now i'm incorporating more volume and slowly i will bring up the volume i will do starts uh, for example i was doing five sets of five for press for two weeks then i bumped it up to seven sets so that that build up was this session this session worked out really well and i also did incline dumbbell press after this um, press uh, um, sets but it's not in the video so this is the third set of 70 kg I think I only got five so yes uh, I have uh, done some reading a very good article uh, article that actually discusses in depth what is the best sets and reps for both hypertrophy and strength Long story short, it turns out seven sets are the best and up to five or six reps, I reckon, or maybe eight reps, I'm thinking. So that is my goal for each exercise. Uh, I will try to do sets of, total sets will be seven. Reps will really go up and down from five to eight. And at the most, at the most, I will have three exercises so the qual the the quality of article is really good i'm i'm going to read it more and more and apply it to that optimal number where i get uh, big and strong and muscular as well so this was that session which where i ticked what i've learned from that article i think 
the world of exercise science, exercise literature is very much practical based. It is all in doing. You cannot just make some theorems or do some thought experiment and then come up to a conclusion. It is all about doing. So you can um, create as many hypotheses, but you've got to do stuff. Your gym is your laboratory and you do and fail and do it again and fail and, and then eventually you come right. I think it is not get, it's not best to get stuck in theory too much. Yes, there are some uh, very well set golden rules and traditional methods that are there. And that is what I used for my strength. I used novice linear program, very simple programming, and I, I just live by it. I absolutely love the efficacy of that program where the sets and remains remain constant and the only thing that goes up is the weight. That happens for about three months and then you are uh, almost an intermediate and things are different from there on and everyone have their own take from there on. And on, on that matter starts this um, debate over what is the right amount of sets and reps for any type of adapt adaptation that you're looking for. And I think I've been doing strength training from last six, seven, I think eight years maybe. And I'm yet to put into many things into practice. One thing that I have put into practice so far is um, I did it in the year 21, 22. I also call it one of my golden period of training not lifting my numbers were really good but the training wise every session was so good and that was to train heavy uh no i said it lift heavy lift little lift often so i would train very very often in a week like four to five times and i will lift heavy up to 90 percent of my one rm and just a little just very small reps and sets like maybe a total of nine reps, three sets of three at 200 kg type of squats. So that next day I can go again because when you lift heavy and when you lift little, you can recover the very much the next day. So this will be a new start of that kind of experiment going up to the sets of seven with some nuances and I'll share that with you guys. Let me know in comments in what kind of different training methods you have used. Have you used anything revolutionary like Bulgarian method? <laughs> or I've also uh, done some experimentation with heavy duty, high intensity training that was popularized by none other than Mike Menza. But that was a while ago in my le in recent memory. Now this linear progression is the training. So this was the workout guys. Pretty happy and uh, hope you liked the video. And like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.